Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I wanted to give you a little bit of a sneak peek of some upcoming mini gaming PCs that I recently got to take a look at at CES 2024. I've got three here that I think are worth mentioning, but there were more on the floor. I mean, I actually saw a lot of awesome mini PCs and I will have some more coverage coming up in the next few days, so definitely keep an eye out. But these are three standout mini gaming PCs that I was able to go hands-on with. And uh, first up, we've got one from GeekCon. This is their upcoming A Pro 8 Max, and they actually teased this a couple weeks before CES went live. I personally love the look of this thing, and it is coming in a lot smaller than I thought it would be, just seeing pictures up front. The chassis is 234 millimeters high by 192 millimeters deep and only 62 millimeters wide. Now this is definitely packing some really good performance. We've got the Ryzen 9 8940HS paired up with an RX 7600 MXT, which is definitely going to offer some really great AAA gaming performance. And within the last year, I've actually done a lot of testing with the 7600 MXT. I personally think it's a great 1440p high card or 1080p ultra. Either way, this thing is going to be putting down some really great performance. And hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on one of these really soon to show you the performance that this thing was putting out. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to record any gameplay, but I did test out Cyberpunk 2077 on it. And yeah, I mean, it'll run that game really, really well. Next on the list, we've got a new one coming to us from Menace Forum. If you're familiar with them, you know I personally love their mini PCs. This is the upcoming HX200. And with this, we're getting the Ryzen 9 7945HX paired up with a Radeon 760MXT. A lot of these mini PCs that were using Radeon GPUs are utilizing that 7600 MXT. And if you take a look at the side panel here, you'll notice that there is a little bit of RGB going on. This is going to be fully customizable by replacing the film on the interior of the PC. You'll be able to kind of create your own if you want to, but I'm guessing right out of the box, we're going to get the Tiger logo along with the Menace Forum logo. And finally, I'd say the standout mini PC that I was able to go hands-on with is the upcoming ASUS ROG NUC. Now, if you're familiar with the Intel NUC series, they actually stopped doing it through Intel. All of it was kind of transferred over to ASUS. And along with the new ROG NUC, we've also got some small 4x4 NUCs, which look really awesome. This here is going to be powered by the new Intel Core Ultra series. So they have the 9 and the 7 series. You can opt for an RTX 4060 or a 4070. Personally, I love the look of the new ROG NUC. Comes with that vertical stand, or you can set it horizontally. Tons of I.O., a little bit of RGB on the side, which kind of does look really good. ROG logo right up front. And again, they will be offering two different SKUs, one with that Intel Core Ultra 7 155H along with an RTX 4060. And the other one's going to be packing the Intel Core Ultra 9 185H. That one comes with the RTX 4070. And keep in mind, these will be mobile RTX variants. Not exactly sure about the wattage on that 4060 or the 4070, but I'm sure this thing's going to be putting out some really great performance. Awesome I.O. selection. Up front, we've got an SD card reader, two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, one 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and around back, one Thunderbolt 4, DisplayPort 2.0, two more USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, one full-size HDMI port, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, and of course, we've got our power input. Both do come with a 330 watt power supply, and I think we can get really close to that 330 watts on the one with that 4070. We're not going to need as much for the 4060 variant, but it's nice to have that same one packaged just in case. And you can outfit both of them with up to three M.2 2280 PCIe Gen 4 SSDs, so we can add a lot of storage to these mini PCs. Personally, really excited about all three of these new mini PCs from Geekcom, Menace Forum, and Asus. As soon as I can get my hands on them, I will be doing a lot of testing, so let me know what you want to see running on these in the comments below. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. I'll leave a few links in the description in case you want to learn a little more. But like always, thanks for watching.